That famous black hole just got bigger and darker. Astronomers recently used artificial intelligence to fine-tune the first-ever image of a black hole, captured in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope. Four years ago, astronomers released the first-ever image of a black hole, a reddish, puffy donut of light surrounding an empty, dark hole in the center of the giant galaxy M87, which lies 55 million light-years away in the constellation Virgo. The image made visible what astronomers and the rest of us had only been able to imagine. A celestial entity so massive that its gravity warped space-time, drawing matter, energy and even light into its bottomless vortex. The image was released on April 10, 2019, by an astronomy squad called the Event Horizon Telescope, so named for the boundary of no return around a black hole. Now a subset of that team, led by Leah Medeiros of the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, NJ, has used artificial intelligence to reprocess the original data and produce a vastly improved version of the image. The new image, they say, will sharpen constraints on how well the black hole in M87 fits with Einstein's general theory of relativity, which first predicted the existence of black holes, dr. Medeiros and her colleagues published the new image on Thursday in Astrophysical Journal Letters. Perhaps the image will join its 2019 ancestor in the photography collection of the Museum of Modern Art in New York. Both images are based on observations that were made in April of 2017. The Event Horizon team effectively created a telescope as big as Earth by combining data from five radio telescopes as far apart as the South Pole, France, Chile and Hawaii, using a technique called Very Long Baseline Interferometry. The resulting instrument was powerful enough to resolve details as small as an orange on the surface of the moon or a cosmic pinprick of nothingness with the mass of 6.5 billion suns, 55 million light-years away. But gaps in the network led to uncertainties. We used machine learning to fill in the gaps, Dr. Medeiros said in an interview. Her team trained the neural network to recognize the black hole by feeding the eye simulations of all kinds of black holes consistent with Einstein's equations. In the improved version, Dr. Medeiros said, the donut of doom, the visible radiation from matter falling into the hole, is thinner than in the original and the empty spot in the donut's center appears blacker and bigger, bolstering the idea that there really is a black hole there. The team is already analyzing the new image to gain a better estimate of the mass of M87's black hole, but they are not yet ready to discuss it. In the meantime the work continues with an even bigger event horizon network. Three new telescopes have been added. Every April, when M87 and the center of our galaxy, home to a smaller black hole, are in view, the Earth's size eye renews its gaze into the darkness. People are at the telescopes, Dr. Medeiros said. For years, and for all the mounting scientific evidence black holes have remained marooned in the imaginations of artists and the algorithms of splashy computer models of the kind used in Christopher Nolan's outer space epic Interstellar. Now they are more real than ever. We have seen what we thought was unseeable, said Shep Dolman, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and director of the effort to capture the image, during a Wednesday news conference in Washington, D.C. The image of a lopsided ring of light surrounding a dark circle deep in the heart of a galaxy known as Messier 87, some 55 million light-years away from Earth, resembled the eye of Sauron, a reminder yet again of the implacable power of nature. It is a smoke ring framing a one-way portal to eternity. To capture the image, astronomers reached across intergalactic space to Messier 87, or M87, a giant galaxy in the constellation Virgo. There, a black hole several billion times more massive than the sun is unleashing a violent jet of energy some 5,000 light-years into space. The image offered a final, ringing affirmation of an idea so disturbing that even Einstein, from whose equations black holes emerged, was loath to accept it. If too much matter is crammed into one place, the cumulative force of gravity becomes overwhelming, and the place becomes an eternal trap. Here, according to Einstein's theory, matter, space and time come to an end and vanish like a dream. 
On Wednesday morning that dark vision became a visceral reality. As far as the team of astronomers could ascertain, the shape of the shadow is circular, as Einstein's theory predicts. The results were announced simultaneously at news conferences in Washington, D.C., and five other places around the world, befitting an international collaboration involving 200 members, nine telescopes and six papers for the astrophysical journal Letters. When the image was put upon the screen in Washington, cheers and gasps, followed by applause, broke out in the room and throughout a universe of astrophans following the live-streamed event. Priyam Vadanatrajan, an astrophysicist at Yale, said that Einstein must be delighted. His theory has just been stress-tested under conditions of extreme gravity and looks to have held up. Kip Thorne, an astrophysicist at the California Institute of Technology and who shared a Nobel Prize in 2017 for the discovery of gravitational waves from colliding black holes, wrote in an email, It is wonderful to see the nearly circular shadow of the black hole. There can be no doubt this really is a black hole at the center of M87, with no signs of deviations from general relativity. Jan Levin, a cosmologist and professor at Barnard College in New York, said, What a time to be alive. A telescope the size of Earth. The image emerged from two years of computer analysis of observations from a network of radio antennas called the Event Horizon Telescope. In all, eight radio observatories on six mountains and four continents observed the galaxy in Virgo on and off for 10 days in April 2017. The telescope array also monitored a dim source of radio noise called Sagittarius A, pronounced Sagittarius a star, at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. There, 26,000 light-years from Earth and cloaked in interstellar dust and gas lurks another black hole, with a mass of 4.1 million suns. The network is named after the edge of a black hole, the point of no return. Beyond the event horizon, not even light can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. The mystery of black holes has tantalized astronomers for more than half a century. In the 1950s astronomers with radio telescopes discovered that pearly, seemingly peaceful galaxies were spewing radio energy from their cores, far more energy than would be produced by the ordinary thermonuclear engines that make stars shine. Perhaps, astrophysicists thought the energy was being liberated by matter falling onto supermassive, dense objects, later called black holes. Since then, scientists have devised detailed models of how this would work. As hot, dense gas swirls around the black hole, like water headed down a drain, the intense pressures and magnetic fields cause energy to squirt out the side. As a paradoxical result, supermassive black holes can be the most luminous objects in the universe. The images released today bolster the notion of violence perpetrated over cosmic scales, said Sierra Markov, an astrophysicist at the University of Amsterdam and a member of the Event Horizon team. Black holes must be the most exotic major disruptors of cosmic order, she said. Einstein's least favorite idea. The unveiling today took place almost exactly a century after images of stars askew in the heavens made Einstein famous and confirmed his theory of general relativity as the law of the cosmos. That theory ascribes gravity to the warping of space and time by matter and energy, much as a mattress sags under a sleeper. General relativity led to a new conception of the cosmos in which space-time could quiver, bend, rip, expand, swirl like a mix master and even disappear forever into the maw of a black hole. To Einstein's surprise, the equations indicated that when too much matter or energy was concentrated in one place, space-time could collapse, trapping matter and light in perpetuity. He disliked that idea, but the consensus today is that the universe is speckled with black holes furiously consuming everything around them. Many are the gravitational tombstones of stars that burned up their fuel and collapsed, but others, hidden in the center of nearly every galaxy, are millions or billions of times more massive than the sun. Nobody knows how such behemoths of nothingness could have been assembled. Dense wrinkles in the primordial energies of the Big Bang. Monster runaway stars that collapsed and swallowed up their surroundings in the dawning years of the universe. Nor do scientists know what ultimately happens to whatever falls into a black hole, nor what forces reign at the center, where, 
Theoretically, the density approaches infinity and smoke pours from nature's computer, zeroing in on cosmic monsters. Any lingering doubts about the reality of black holes dissolved three years ago when the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, detected the collision of a pair of distant black holes which sent a shiver through the fabric of space-time. Now the reality has a face. Peter Gullison, a physicist, filmmaker and historian at Harvard, and a member of the Event Horizon team, noted that there is a wonderful open-ended sense of being able to see something instead of merely accumulating statistical evidence. Still, questions about gravity and the universe abound. We know there must be something more. Avery Broderick, a physicist with the Perimeter Institute for Theoretic.